Joe Sutherland. This is. I'm Sarah Keyworth. And. Uh, we are here to talk to you about our short film. Uh, and the short film is called. The Elephant in the Womb. See, that, that's really good word because it's not room, it's womb. Yeah, Elephant in the Womb. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And it is set in President Obama's basement. And the reason we know it's President Obama's basement is because there's, well, pictures of Obama everywhere. Everywhere. Yes, we can. Our main character in this piece is uh, called Keith Socks. It's spelt like socks. Yeah, he's the, he's the heir the to the um, to the to the socks dynasty. Mm -hmm. Keith Socks is a bubbly swimmer. Not only is he bubbly in personality, the water that he swims in is bubbly. It's without every time, without fail, he gets in bubbles. Who's that? That's Keith Socks. He's the bubbliest person I know. He's also a great swimmer. Genre. Um, Absolute horror. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, horror. It's a horror film. The film begins with Keith in the pool and he's swimming and the, and the bubbles are going and things like that. <laughs> Keith is honestly probably the hairiest man you've ever seen, mm -hmm. apart from on his head. He's swimming and swimming and swimming, and then he stops at the end of the pool and he, he looks out at the top and he thinks to himself, I gotta go see the present. So he leaves the pool and mm -hmm. goes off, yes, um, thinking that he's gonna meet the president, but he in fact meets Sarah Rochelle Stella. You know, that's a, that's a snappy name, and it turns mm -hmm. out that she is a shit beekeeper. Yeah. Um, she tries to uh, farm bees. Mm. The problem is that she's trying to keep shit bees, um, but they don't exist. I'm trying to keep shit bees, but I don't think they exist. So she's filling these boxes with um, dung. Thank you. This should be in the White House. So he answers the door, mm -hmm. um, naked, dripping wet, yeah, uh, Keith, to to Sarah. A magpie mm. flies through the well, not window because it's a basement, but yeah. um, you know the like the grate. Um, yeah. Yeah. There's sort of a, a, a. I suppose the magpie doesn't so much fly as fall mm. um, through the open grate. The magpie is dead. Mm -hmm. It's dead, and and that's when the the horror really starts.
how fortunate. All of this so far must have been in my imagination. for a shit bee. Just as we think a, a beautiful friendship might flourish, then, then the magpie falls through and it, it just mm. turns. Yeah. Just turns dark. Mm. And you kind of have, it's sort of Hitchcock-esque music playing. It's very, it's, you know, very sharp notes. Constant. Zooming um, in and yeah. out on the magpie. Mm. The basement begins to fill with water. At the moment the water touches him, he's, he's forgotten it. It starts to bubble. And then all this bubbling water, and it's getting higher and higher, and she, she can't move in bubbly water. No, she is paralysed with fear. Yeah. What are we going to do? Uh, don't worry about it. I, I'm an excellent swimmer. Uh, have you ever swam in bubbly water before? No! Oh. It's quite challenging! Yeah. Oh. They've been trying to solve this mystery of the uh, the murdered magpie. Um, we know it's murdered because it, there's a knife in its back. How do you solve a mystery when the victim is bobbing along on the water that's slowly filling in, in the basement? There's an incredible scene where they're just trying to catch the body of the magpie through the bubbles. But it keeps floating away. Mm. My, uh, my eyes are on him. My eyes. No, I, I, I'm looking directly at the, the uh, suspect with my uh, eyes. Just write that down. Because it's the White House, there's always, um, you know, a sort of... Couple up there. Yeah, a, a detective or a, a mm. policeman or two, um, occasionally a traffic warden, just, you know, to keep, yeah. keep the president safe. One time there was a garden maintenance guy just knocking around. Yeah, no one liked him. shouted through the grate, they've swum over to where the grate is and they've shouted through and Obama, said... Obama, Obama! But yeah. Obama's not yeah. there. Mm. Um, no, he's, um, you know, he's uh, in Europe. He's holidaying with Michelle. Obama's not there. He's uh, in Europe on holiday with Michelle. Come on! Yeah, come and join us. He sinks like a, a rock down to the bottom because he has feet made, made of stone. Um, mm-hmm.
and uh, well, he he displays his his stone feet mm. um, in the only way a detective would uh, th through his magnifying glass, and he's like, ah, look why I'm sinking, and he like magnifies his his stone feet, and everyone's like, ah, oh, I get it. I'm going to help these guys solve this mystery of the murdered magpie. Cuts off his feet. So that he can He swim. knows that he won't be able to get it. He cuts them off and, and they help him. Turns out, you know, they, they figure out that the detective killed the magpie in the end. Turns out he was responsible for that and he filled the basement full of water and he's not a very smart guy so it was strange that he decided to get into the basement. Well it was effectively a, a sick and twisted game. Yeah. You know, not forgetting this is a horror so mm. he, uh, why, why would he not, it's very much like Saw. Mm. He was responsible for all this. Not a very smart guy. It was strange he decided to get into the basement. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> you sent the letter, didn't you? Saying there was a shit bee in the White House. <laughs> <laughs> and the detective smiles and he says, You deserve a half five, but instead I'm going to have to arrest you. She I mean, never gets a shit bee. She doesn't even get a high five. And that's the real horror. <laughs>